there is no way we can simplify this one again to get the value of x that we are looking for. Now let's look at the right hand side. If we come to 11, let's see if we can express this. Since we have the basis here, 6 and 5, let's see, see, let's see if we can also get 6 and 5 by the right hand side. We can do that by doing this 6x minus 5. 6 raised to the power x minus 5 raised to the power x is equal. So we know that 11, considering this and this, will give you 6 plus 5. Then, if we can get 6 raised to the power something, minus 6 raised to the power something, we can now equate the, left, the exponents or whatever to get the value of x that we are looking for. Then let's try to see if we can achieve that. But before we do that, just kindly help me click the follow button and ensure that you are following this page. Thanks, as you know that. Alright, if we look at this left hand side, this thing looks like the difference of two squares. Let's see if we can express this one also in the same way. So, we now have 6 raised to the power x minus 5 raised to the power x is equal to 6 plus 5, 6 minus 5. We are, we are matching towards the difference of two squares. Now, let's check if this thing will still give us 11. 6 plus 5 is 11. 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 times 11 will still give us 11. So we have not altered anything here yet. Alright. Why did we do this? Because you know that from different of two squares is a squared minus b squared. You have something of this nature. From different of two squares a minus b. So that's how we do this. So if that is the case, it means it means that we can express this one as in, in this form. Therefore, if I do that, I will now have 6 raised to the power x minus 5 raised to the power x is equal to 6 squared minus 5 squared. That's the difference of two squares. If we apply this formula here, it gives us this. And if we multiply this, it will give you 11. So we have not altered anything yet. Now let's check again. 6 squared is 36. 5 squared is 25. The 6 minus 25 will still give you 11. Nothing has changed yet. Alright, at this point you see that we now have something similar from the by left, left hand side and the right hand side. So before you finally write down our answer, just help me again. Click follow button. Just click follow and like this page. Thanks as we do that. So since we have the same thing, what we have in the left hand side is the same with what we have in the right hand side. We can quickly say that our x is equal to 2. That's the final value of x. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.